Today we're replacing a mechanical time switch for our pull pump motor. The cinematic timer is the mechanical gut only. That can be purchased without the box if you already have one that's still in good condition. This is a great advantage not having to rip the box from the wall and separating it from the conduit. I also think this is the simplest 24 hour timer in the market. It's for a 120 volt system, has three wire terminals for the motor plus a green screw for the ground wire in case the box is not grounded like this one is. They make them for 240 volt systems as well. Very easy to replace. But as always, if uncomfortable working with electricity, call an electrician. We start by shutting off the power going into the timer. We remove the screw that holds the plastic wire guard and it also has operating instructions on it. And all three wire terminals are now exposed. Just a note, to avoid any confusion, you'll see there's two additional wires hooked up to two of the terminals. They supply constant power to a transformer for 12 volt lighting systems that I have in the backyard. I will show them as we unhook each one to avoid any confusion. We also take a picture to remind us where all the wires hook up to the terminals, or they can be marked with masking tape. Using a voltage tester, we double check there's no power in any of the wires. Then, start loosening the screws for all three terminals. There are two wires I mentioned earlier for the 12 volt lighting transformer and three wires we're pulling off now are from the pull pump motor. Once all three wires are removed, push the tab above the mechanical timer and pull it away as you lift it from the side slots of the box. This is the clock motor that went bad on this timer and which can't be replaced but after considering how old this timer is we decided to replace the whole mechanical gut. We compared both to make sure the tabs are identical and the clock motor wires are on the same terminals. We slide it into the side slots in the box and push the top into the spring tab and it's ready for wiring. We loosen all three terminal screws first. Insert the three motor wires to the same terminals you took the old ones from. The foam picture that was taken can come in handy now. We will insert the two additional wires from the transformer for the 12 volt lighting last. And they will not be wired on the timer terminal, but the two power terminals only which are the two terminals on the left that sends constant power to the transformer, which the transformer has its own timer. Once the three wires from the motor are connected, now we can insert the wires from the 12 volt transformer. We insert the black in the middle terminal and the white on the left terminal. Now we turn the power back on and flip the timer switch on and the pump is on. The next thing is to set the length of time we want the pump motor on by setting the on and off trippers. We tighten the green star tripper at 8 a.m. Then we set and tighten the gold off tripper to the 12 noon. We install the terminal cover by hooking it to the two tabs and put on the screw to secure it. This cover is very important not only for the instructions and indicators, but it also prevents you from getting electrocuted. To be able to turn the clock to set the time, just pull it outwards and it will spin freely. So the timer is set to turn on 8 a.m. and shut off at 12 noon. If you want to turn the pump on manually, just turn the switch on. When you turn it back off, you are in automatic mode. To find out if the timer motor is working, just look into this peak hole and see if the white gear is turning. Some people stick their pinky finger in there to feel it if it's turning. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you along the way. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments.
See the description for links of tools and materials used in this video. And you all have a great day.